Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending August 12th. And since I've had requests and people have liked my gadget TDD reports, I'm going to try to do a few more, sprinkle them in here and there. So today's gadget for August 12th will be drilling holes without power. Now I've got some various tools here. Two of these are uh, a brace and bit, auger brace and bit. This is an old classic one from the 1960s. This is a Stanley. You can get these on eBay. I'll have uh, down in the description, just look in the description, I'll give you prices. You can find these on eBay for probably in the range of 20 to 30 bucks. This is a newer one. This is made in England, so it's newer, but uh, there's something about the design that I really like. It's got four sets of tabs up here to hold the bit in place, so you can actually, instead of using just the regular bits like this, you can use conventional bits, whereas the old style brace like this only had a uh, two tabs here so you have to use the special bits that the end of it is kind of squared off and tapered so uh, although some people have claimed they can use a regular drill bit in these they're kind of fiddly and then this is a Schroeder egg beater style you can get this for about 32 bucks made in Germany uh, pretty good quality you can drill up to about a quarter of an inch I've got a 1 8 inch bit here and we're gonna try these out today and see how they work so in case you uh, maybe just want to try it for old time's sake or maybe you lost power and you want to finish a wood project we'll see what it takes and what these things will do so let me get you guys set up on the tripod and then we will do some testing okay first off we are going to test with the German Schroeder using about a 1 8 inch bit this is a newer piece of wood if you have older pieces of wood for example this one it's a piece of wood that's probably 20 years old so it's work hardened it would be very hard to drill through this it's almost like drilling through hardwood whereas this is a newer piece of pine so it would be probably more realistic this is not something you're going to drill through uh, although you know technically I guess if you had enough time on your hands you could drill through steel if you had to or sheet metal but we're just going to drill through uh, regular wood just to give it a try here we're going to put a little bit of pressure on it here and see what it takes to get it through this piece of wood here just kind of doing it slowly and carefully and just putting a little bit of weight on it and it's through the piece of wood already it's all the way through there it is right there so just pull it back out there you got a nice little 1 8 inch hole so now let me back the camera off again and we're going to try the brace and bits with the wood hardened piece of wood here and I'm going to put it on top of this other wood so I don't drill through my workbench so let me back you guys off a little bit here Hopefully you'll still be able to see and hear me well enough. I don't think there's really technically going to be a lot of difference between these two. This is the old classic Stanley from the 1960s. And it's got about, um, these both are just, these, both of these bits are just slightly less than a half an inch. So they should be roughly equivalent or at least enough for our purposes. So we'll see what it does. Hopefully this wood will stay locked in place and won't spin around a lot. So I'm just going to use a little bit of pressure from my hand. And Let's see how it goes here. I'll probably drill somewhat around halfway down through the wood and see how it goes as best as I can determine what halfway is. Um, there's very little effort. I'm putting almost no effort into it. The uh, drill bit itself is making all the effort, so it's really not like this really requires anything. And it's just, yeah, basically peeling up the chunks of wood. So I'm guessing that may be about halfway. Let's actually look and see. Let's back it out. I might have gone even past the halfway, so. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Let me see if I can... Can you guys get a good enough look here to see the end of the hole? Maybe not, but it's probably just slightly past the halfway point, so. Let's try the other one. Let's try the newer... This one's a Stanley. This one here is called, let me see, I got the paper with it here. Faithful Carpenter's Brace. This is called the Faithful Carpenter's Brace. Comes made in the made from the UK, so um, the only thing different is this top handle here is plastic, whereas the older ones I kind of like the wood better, but I don't know. I guess this is good enough for now, and you're probably not going to get something like this for 40 42 bucks but if it functions if not I can always replace it I can get a, a bearing and make my own wooden piece for the top anyway or or buy something like this that's in bad shape and steal the top off of it so let's see what we do with this one <clears throat> okay 
I think I'm probably going to be going all the way through if I go much more. So let's see what we got here. No, this is about halfway through. So on this one, maybe if you can see. Yeah, this one you can see a little bit better. This is more like halfway through the piece of wood. So, so let me take you off the tripod here. So anyway, let me know what you think. Um, I've got a lot of other older gadgets too. Gadgets from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. Um, like I said, this one here, probably in my guess is late 50s, early 60s vintage on this. And these are both newer, but because this is made in Germany, that's made in England, I trust them to be pretty good tools. They're uh, um, a little bit better than your, your normal average tool. Uh, let's also test this one out too. Um, before I finish up, let's test this one out and see how it does with holding a, a standard bit. I've got a quarter inch bit here, so let's see if, like they say with the uh, with the four tabs here, let's see if it'll actually do the bit. So let me sit you down here, <coughs> and we will undo this. See, this is what I talked about, the tapered end here. <coughs> so let's take this, see if we can get this in here. Mm, I don't think so. Let's see. Is it going to be wobbly? Yeah, maybe it will. <clears throat> okay. Let's put you back on the tripod and let's give it a shot. See if we can drill a quarter inch hole with a bracing bit and a regular drill bit. Now I could, I would never even attempt that on the Stanley, but on this one with the... Uh, way it's set up with four tabs like that it might actually hold it true enough let me see first if I can just see by eyeballing does it look like it's staying straight and true yeah it does look like it's staying pretty straight and true and that's probably what you would need to drill through hardened wood like this so let me double check again and make sure I got you aimed real good yep okay let's go for it with a quarter inch bit see what we can do oh look at that oh it's, now see it's it's kind of slipping on me yep it's kind of slipping on me so I may or may not be able to do it let's see well there it's going oh it's slipping again but it's going through there is it going through there or is it actually going into the chuck itself let's pull it out and see how far we went well by golly it did slide in but we went pretty far so I don't know can we get this can I get that just a little bit tighter? Let's actually see if we can make it all the way through that piece. Let's go for it. Okay. Now it pushed its way in. I was saying it pushed its way into this, so I don't know if I can get a tight enough grip on it to actually have it stay in place. Let's try one more time. Okay, I'm just doing it by hand. Let's try one more time. Now what I'm doing is not what you're supposed to be doing with a brace anyway. This is not supposed to be used for regular drill bits. Yeah, it's, I would say, nope. If you'd want it to do, what I would suggest maybe is, uh, although it would probably not be good for your uh, grinding wheel, but if you could actually put some type of... Uh, flats on here, at least flats on two sides so it would get a better grip than possibly this would work, but now I'll have to say, and I'm, I'm actually, like I said, I'm actually asking it to do what it's not meant to do, but at least I gave it a try. Okay, thanks everybody for uh, uh, following me on the TDD report. I hope you liked uh, my gadget report, and I'll try to do a few more in the future. Take care everybody, and I'll catch you next week.